Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very, very special video. This one is dedicated to my YouTube friend Angelica Nyquist. I'm sure you can tell from the title, I am filming a video called Angelica Made Me Buy It. I've actually wanted to film this video for a really long time. I had all the palettes pulled and everything. I just didn't have the time to do it because most of you know my parents were in town visiting. So now that they're finally gone, I can sit down and film some content I've been dying to do. And I recently posted a video showing you guys some of the palettes that I actually have in my collection that I've never used. And I think I mentioned Angelica so many times that my friend Danielle commented saying you should film an Angelica made me buy it video and I was like don't even worry about it I'm, I'm already ready to go so now that I have some time I'm gonna film it and I just want to let you guys know if you haven't checked out Angelica yet I don't know what you're waiting for she's an amazing Swedish youtuber and she's really kind of encouraged me and inspired me to play with color which is really exciting I get quite a few comments from my friends and family on YouTube and Instagram about how much you know color they see me wearing which wasn't something I did very often like I have a little more courage when it comes to wearing color and I definitely feel like Angelica was one of the first youtubers that inspired me to do that she's an all-round rock star of a human being she's a great youtuber she has an amazing content library on her channel she uploads almost every day I live for her Sunday videos when she does her Will I Buy It series. It's the first video I watch every Sunday morning because I love that particular video. I miss it whenever it's not on. No pressure, Angelica. <laughs> but yeah, I just love her. She's a stellar person. She is one of the bigger YouTubers that gave me a shout out and it means so much to me. I found her channel sometime last year and I just felt a connection to her. I feel like if we lived closer we would actually be friends in real life because she has a great sense of humor it's very sarcastic which is totally up my alley and uh, before I sound like a total psycho stalker um, I just want to tell you guys how much I appreciate her as a youtuber and especially in the state of the YouTube community right now if you're looking for somebody that delivers fresh content every week you're gonna want to check her out so Without further blabbering, I will go ahead and get into my video, show you guys some of the palettes that this lady convinced me I needed to buy. And for all of you brands that are watching this, because obviously there's going to be like 80 brands that watch this video, you guys better start writing a check to Angelica right now for all the palettes she's helped you sell over the last couple of months. Okay, that's all. We'll get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this palette. This is the Misha Lu Cosmetics Witchcraft Palette. I remember the day Angelica showed this on one of our Will I Buy It videos, or she calls it, what did she call her series? Uh, I think she's like going on the wish list or not. And so she posted the picture of this and the two other palettes from Misha Lu, and I about like died because it's, it's so hard to find a palette with this many like greens and there are like five green shades in here. I also love the Pops of Berry. This palette is so fun. It's so different. It is produced by a British brand and as soon as I saw her mention it, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna need that palette. So yeah, this is one of the palettes. Obviously all of the items in here are the things that Angelica made me buy and yeah, I still remember seeing this on her channel and I'm like, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that right now. The next palette that Angelica made me buy is the Blossom palette. Now this is still untouched by me because God only knows I have too many palettes. This is Blush Tribe, the Blossom palette, and the Malika palette. I have both of these because I figured, hey, I'm paying for shipping. I might as well get them both. This one, I think a lot of people already have reviews on. I intend to eventually, you know, use this on my channel. So I do apologize, guys, if you're waiting for me to review some of these things. I know I'm behind, I'm very, very sorry, but this was definitely inspired by Angelica. And Blush Tribe is actually coming out with a new palette, I believe, sometime in September, featuring a shade named Angelica, as well as a shade named after my other friend, Paulina's Beauty. I will link her channel down below as well. Two of my Swedish friends, like I love both of them. I, yeah, I just wanna go to Sweden and meet both of those guys. They both have shades named after them in the new Blush Tribe palette. It's called the Fall Fusion palette. So my plan is when the Fall Fusion palette is available for order, 
I'm gonna order that and then I'm planning on ordering the Hasina palette too because I've heard so many good things about that palette and then this is what the Malika palette looks like it's a beautiful warm tone palette again I have not dipped into either of these yet but I will soon Another brand that I found through Angelica is the brand Certify, and this is the Tropic Wonders palette. I remember her showing this in a video, and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are going to see like a theme here. It's all like colorful, crazy rainbow palettes, because like I said, Angelica really got me into colors. So here's what the palette looks like. I know there's a shade loose in here, so I don't want to like hold it up all the way, but this is gorgeous, and again, I have not used it yet. I will. And they have two newer palettes. They have they have the Dy D Dynasty and Destiny palettes that they came out with. I'm super tempted to pick both of those up, but I told myself that since I haven't used any of these ones, I'm not buying any more palettes from brands that I already own palettes from. Another thing I picked up because Angelica is an affiliate of Luxie Beauty. This is their Summer Sinner collection, I believe. My white one just like completely shattered, but she did a like swatch party video of these and I said no the first time around and then I just couldn't resist it because I was like, oh my god, they're so gorgeous. And so she introduced me to the brand Luxie Beauty. I actually have more shadows from them right here as well. I will combine all of them together once I'm done playing with the Summer Sinner collection, but yeah, some of their shades like crumble for me so I don't know if that's like a pattern but still think it's a cool brand. Here is another Luxie palette. These are their metals I think that they came out with sometime this um, spring I think so I've got all of those still to try and then here are three of their highlighters too. If you guys are interested in Luxie Beauty they always have sales so I mean, it's not that I want to encourage you guys to not support indie brands, but usually a lot of indie brands have really good sales around the holidays, like American holidays, if they're American-based brands. So like Labor Day and stuff, and now the next one, the big one's going to be Thanksgiving. So if you have your eye on some of these things that I'm mentioning here, just wait and get it on sale. It's a smart move, and I just want to tell you guys that's how I do it. So in case you're wondering, that's my little tip. Here is another brand that I discovered through Angelica. This is Divina Cosmetics. Picked up the Spartacus bundle. Again, I have not played with them. I feel so terrible, but I loved these shades, and so I picked them up, and then she did swatches of these guys. I think this is one of the first things that she inspired me to buy because she did, like, finger swatches, like these beautiful finger swatches on her Instagram, and I remember I even sent DM to one of my friends in Sri Lanka, and I was like, Oh my gosh, look at these eyeshadows from Divina. And so I bought the whole bundle and it was kind of expensive, but I'm so happy that I have that because it's very, very unique to my collection. Another one that Angelica made me buy is the Warrior palette. Now I have all the Juvia's Place palettes. This one I was gonna freaking avoid because I was like, I don't need another warm tone palette. And then Juvia's Place sent this palette to her in PR and she's like, you guys, this is so not my vibe, I'm so not a neutral person, but this is a good release for Juvia's Place. And I drank the Kool-Aid, Angelica, I drank the Kool-Aid, and I was like, you know what, I need, to, I need to have my collection complete. So I bought this, and honestly, this is a good palette. I don't feel bad about supporting Juvia's Place. They're a black-owned indie brand, and they're still killing it. They are very, very successful now, so yeah, if you guys are interested in trying them out, they're now sold also on Ulta.com, so very, very fun brand. Another so another brand she made me try is Sydney Grace. Now, I have two palettes full of their single shadows. I also have some of their cream shadows. I haven't tried anything else from them other than their eye products, and honestly, I feel like I'm a little bit overloaded right now with the shadows, so I'm not going to buy anything else from them, but these are totally Angelica-inspired, and I'm honestly really proud of these eyeshadow palettes. They are so, so gorgeous, so if you want to see me swatch these, let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. This is a mix of some of their new shades, and then their dupe for the Icy Bitch Tarte Palette, and some of their Christmas 2017 shades, their Fall Bundle from 2017. They have like a neutral bundle that I bought, so I've got a lot of bundles from them, and again, they're also one of those brands that's really good at having a sale around the holiday time, so you're gonna wanna check them out. And I love the formula of those. The glitter shades are wonderful. 
I want to eventually review all of these brands on their own, but again, this is Angelica Made Me Buy video, so I want to show you guys everything she has made me buy. Now another thing I had to buy, of course, to support Angelica. This is Angelica, in case you guys didn't know, except she has short hair now. This is her Favorites by Sigma brush set. And I was in Sri Lanka when this came out and I was so pumped. Like, I was like, what? She got her own brush set? So, so excited. I had to buy this to support. I still have some of the brushes I haven't used yet, but she did a stellar job. I love her so much. I have never bought any from Sigma. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Evangelica says they're good. They're good. So I bought it. So, yeah, very, very excited. And what a girl boss, right? So, I really admire her. You guys obviously can already tell. Now, another brand that Angelica made me buy is Cleonaud Cosmetics. This brand I actually heard about sometime last year or so, whenever they came out with the Paleo palette. And then the Paleo palette sold out, and there was rumors it wasn't going to come back. And then they were talking about the Arkeo palette, and I was like, oh my gosh, when is that going to come out? So I had no patience, and so I bought this bundle from them. Again, have not tested these. They're gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer shades. I need to dip my fingers into these and so I bought that and then it came out that Angelica was going to be doing the lookbook for the Arkeo palette and they did a bundle where you could get the Arkeo and the Paleo palette so of course and this is the Paleo which is the original palette they came out with. These guys are such an amazing company. They like hand make all their palettes so they're each like unique which I think is cool as shit. Again I haven't tried any of those eyeshadow is yet but very excited to have them in my collection another palette that Angelica made me buy is the Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette now I've actually seen this on a few different favorite youtubers of mine's channels like Makeup Struggles but I think I feel like I talked to Angelica before I bought this palette I asked her if she liked it and stuff and Suva is now one of my favorite brands I just think they're really really cool so I'm happy to own this. I think they don't sell this on their site anymore, um, but I have it, so it's exciting, and I love it. Okay, we're getting down to the last few, so hopefully you guys are still hanging in there. I got the Zuri palette because of Angelica. This one, I think I saw her talk about on her Going on the Wishlist or Not video, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, but I was like, Karen, you don't need this damn palette, so I was like, nope, not gonna buy it. And then I think I saw Lacey, from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips talk about this too, and I was like, fine, damn it. So I bought it, and I've used it a little bit, but uh, I still need to review it for you guys. Just so you know, I do have it, and this is another UK-based brand, and they are African-owned palette, and it's actually a really good palette, so if you're looking for a colorful one that's not too colorful, Zuri palette's for you. Next thing she made me buy is the Pinky Rose Spotlight Collection Palette. And I saw her buy this on her trip to New York. I'm such a psycho. Like, I'm so sorry, Angelica, if you're now getting a restraining order against me. I totally understand. But I just love your taste in makeup. You have great taste in makeup. And I had seen this palette. I knew of its existence, but it was never something I would have tried. And then, of course, I saw Angelica haul it. And I'm like, oh my god, now I need this palette. It was out of stock when she showed it on her channel. And then it did come back in stock, so you bet my ass that I bought it and again I still need to test it out but I love it so much and then this brand was one I was also familiar with Ace Beauté and I had their quintessential palette I did a first impressions video on the palette on my channel and I must have just like unfollowed them or something or just never kept up with them on Instagram because they're not a brand a lot of people talk about on YouTube and completely forgot about them and then all of a sudden on her wishlist or past videos Angelica's talking about Ace Beauté and how they're coming out with four new palettes and I'm like holy crap what like I totally didn't know that and I was so excited because they had started doing like sneak peeks on their Instagram and I was like oh my gosh like I could not even decide like which one to get because I loved the quintessential palette so much it had such a good formula I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna need to grab all of these so that's what I did I grabbed all of them now I've used two of the four so far to be very honest I'm not a hundred percent impressed with the formula just yet but I don't want to review this yet either because I do need to test it out a little bit more thoroughly. So hang in there and I will get that review out to you guys as soon as possible. 
Okay guys, that is it. I feel like I've sufficiently embarrassed myself enough on the internet lately, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Angelica made me buy it. Honestly, I don't think there is another YouTuber right now on the internet that has inspired me as much as her. And I'm not doing this so I get more views or whatever or this, that or the other. It's genuinely because she's a fantastic YouTuber and I'm so like thankful that I found her channel because it always inspires me and uh, gets my creative juices flowing and we all need that in life. So I hope you check out her channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below because it makes my day. I love talking to my YouTube family so please don't feel shy. Just leave me a comment. Say hi, hey, tell me which one of these palettes you own or you want to own. I'd love, love, love to chat with you guys and we will see you in the next video. Bye.